What is the most profitable food to make on a food truck? Well, if you're looking to get into the food truck industry and start your own food truck business, you might want to listen to these top five choices that food truck entrepreneurs have been making that have huge profits and margins. I'm actually going through the entire list and I'm going to give you a rundown of the average cost and even the profit margin. So stick with me all the way to the end. And then we got a couple extra resources at the end of this video for you, the food truck entrepreneur here on Food Truck Freaks. All right, welcome back to Food Truck Freaks. You definitely want to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you're new to our channel because we are all about food truck entrepreneurship, bringing you tips, tricks, pointers, and understanding the permits, licenses, and age so much more. So definitely want to get into uh, figuring out what are the top five most popular food truck uh, profitable foods to actually make and what are they and how do they break down in cost, Damien? So determining the most profitable food to sell from a food truck actually depends on several factors, including the cost of ingredients, you want to think about also the preparation time, popularity of the dish itself, and price flexibility. Now, however, it's kind of easy to understand that generally items that have a high perceived value, relatively low cost ingredients, and quick preparation times tend to be the most profitable. So here are a few examples of some of the most popular, at least the top five, that we can dwindle down and give you a rundown. So number one, tacos. Yes, believe it or not, tacos have a high markup potential. Ingredients like tortillas, meat, and vegetables are relatively inexpensive. Now, granted, yes, meat might be a little bit on the high end, but if you get it in bulk, you can still make a profit with these items. Uh, they're also very quick to prepare and can be sold at a variety of price points depending on the ingredients and the market. So one thing you want to keep in mind when I run through this list really quick is a little side tip note here, is that you want to understand also the cost of ingredients is one factor. The speed in which you can create a freshly made item to eat just like fast food places like McDonald's and everyone else in between, Wendy's, um, you go to Arby's, Burger King, all of these places rely on fast, easy to make products. So you need to think about that, especially if you're new to food trucks, uh, food truck entrepreneurship and even starting your own food business. The prep time is something that's truly, really important and it could cost you a lot more money in, in wages and uh, payroll or if you have a very quickly made item, you can put out more products with less pay for payroll and less a time to make the item. So let's run down this. Tacos. All right, cost per taco. Tortilla, on average around 10 cents each. Meat, it could be chicken, beef, or pork. Let's go with about 50 cents based upon the portion size, not pounds, but the portion around 50 to 60 cents. Vegetables, lettuce, tomato, and onions. Let's do another 20 cents. Cheese, you've got around 20 cents. Total cost per taco, maybe about a dollar, maybe a little dollar fifty or so. Selling price could be $3. So your profit margin per taco is $2. It gives you 66.7% in a margin profit. <clears throat> All right, let's go on to the next one. This is actually a huge fame. This is a favorite of mine, whether it's on a food truck or not. But number two is gourmet grilled cheese. Yes, this offers a twist on a classic with a addition of high margin ingredients like specialty cheeses or even artisanal bread. The cost of materials can be kept low while still allowing for a premium selling price. So let's break this down. Number two, gourmet grilled cheeses, right? So cost per sandwich. Bread, let's say artisan, artisan style bread, something just other than white bread. Let's do about 50 cents per serving. Now keep in mind again, this is per serving, not per loaf or loaves or bulk purchase, just per serving. Cheese, specialty cheese, let's put it around a dollar. Butter, eh, you got about a 10 cents or so. Total cost per sandwich, $1.60. Selling price per sandwich could be actually an upwards of $5, maybe even more. With a profit margin per sandwich of around $3.40, it gives you 68% margin. Okay, let's go to number three. Of course, everyone on the planet, I don't know of anybody actually that doesn't like pizza. Number three is pizza. All right, offering individual sized pizzas or even pizza by the slices can be highly profitable. The basic ingredients, of course, flour, yeast, tomato sauce, and cheese are cheap, especially when you get them in bulk. And pizzas can be customized with various toppings for which customers are willing to pay even more. So number three is pizza. Let's do this. Let's break this cost down. So cost per slice. A lot of uh, food trucks actually don't sell full pizzas. They do offer it periodically, but most of them do it by the slice or three slices at a time or two slices. So dough, you got about 30 cents. Tomato sauce, we're looking at around 20 cents. Cheese, you've got about 40 cents in there as well. Toppings with uh, pepperoni, vegetables, etc. Again, this is per slice, not per pizza. It's around 50 cents or so. Total cost per slice, you got about $1.40 in on that. Selling price per slice on retail is around $4. I've, I've actually seen it way higher than that at food trucks. But let's just say it's $4. So profit margin per slice is $2.60. That gives you a 65% profit margin. 
Next up, number four, fried foods. Everyone's favorite. Of course, they're not very healthy for you, but people who love them, fried foods. So items like French fries, chicken tenders even, or even onion rings have a low ingredient cost and are popular with a wide range of customers. They can also be prepared in large batches. This is back to what I said before, large batches to reduce labor costs. So let's break this down as an example. Let's use French fries. Number four, fried foods. Let's break down the cost per serving. Potatoes for serving, of course, 30 cents. Oil for frying, let's give it about 20 cents. Seasoning around 10. So your cost per serving is around 60 cents. So an a entree, a regular size portion of fries, you're selling at around $3, which is actually quite low. I've even seen that much, much higher for even just a big basket of fries is not $3. But for this example, let's do that. $3 and the profit margin per serving is around $2.40. That's 80% margin. Now imagine selling about a, a thousand units a day or even you know, over the span of a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday event, maybe even just 500, but a thousand, that's $2,400 in profit. Okay, next up, number five, last but not least, beverages. Now, I don't care what kind of truck you have, everyone doesn't just eat, they have to drink. So beverages, coffee, lemonade, specialty drinks even, often have extremely high margin profits. Ingredients are typically inexpensive and drinks can be a high demand item and people are willing to pay for it, especially with the right weather conditions. If it's hot out, people will pay whatever just to drink. So number five is beverages. Let's break this down as an example. Let's do lemonade. Cost per cup. So lemon juice, you've got around 20 cents per serving. Sugar, which is very cheap, five cents, let's say. <laughs> Water, even less. You're looking at about five cents as well. Cup and a straw, 10 cents. So you are at a total cost per cup around 40 cents. If your selling price per cup is $2, you're gonna make a profit margin per cup around $1.60 or even 80%. So again, mix all these together. So if you've got a truck and you're doing French fries, you're gonna be obviously selling beverages. So you're gonna mix that in there too and make even more per transaction. Sorry, to maximize profitability, you wanna consider these strategies, okay? Ingredient sourcing, you wanna buy in bulk, guys, where possible and negotiate with suppliers to get the best prices. Menu simplicity. Focus on a limited menu to reduce waste and streamline your operations. That's something I've talked about a lot here on Food Truck Freaks. I have a couple other videos about profitability. Streamlining, yes, you want to minimize your, your menu, but also your operations, how you begin, back to how you make these things. You want to make something that's quick, fast, and super easy. It doesn't have a lot of prep time. Efficiency and preparation. Design your kitchen within your food truck for workflows to serve customers quickly, reduce wait times, and increase output. So there you have it. Those are the five items that if you really want to look at it, what is the most profitable food to make on a food truck? I just gave you five of them and examples. Let me know down below if you actually use these or if you're making these yourself. If you have any questions about food truck profitability, we've got a lot of other content we're going to be putting out about being profitable. So definitely want to stay tuned and I'll see you on our next video.